Dr. Akavi. Gloria Trillo. Globe Mercedes. When we're first introduced to Gloria Trillo, we see her in the same psychiatrist's office as Tony. They're both waiting for their weekly appointment with Dr. Melfi, and as the two were double booked, Tony politely offers up his spot for Gloria. You waiting for somebody in there? Got an appointment there. Did she double book us? I'm usually Thursday, but I had to reschedule because of the holiday. You know, listen, you, you're here. Why don't you take my appointment? Oh, no, no, I couldn't do that. No. No, be my good deed for the day. Flag on the play. I'm pretty sure you said Tuesday. I did? I'll come back next week at the same time and uh, no problemo. I told her she can have my appointment. Actually, it is a little difficult getting away from work. See? I... I could see you tonight at 7. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. How hard was that? This kind jester leaves a lasting impression on Gloria. Tony, being the nosy devil that he is, eavesdrops on her conversation on the phone to find out that she works as a saleswoman at Globe Motors Mercedes. We own 2001 S600, just came in, you're the first person I thought of. Tony later pays her a visit for a test drive. From there, the two head up to Tony's boat where their relationship ultimately begins. In the beginning, things go well between the two. Tony views Gloria as a breath of fresh air from all the stress from work and home. But what impresses Tony the most when it comes to Gloria is how independent she is and not being a typical sugar daddy guma like his previous relationship with Irina. She's, you know, very independent minded. That I do like. Irina was such a helpless fucking baby. But Gloria knows a lot about a lot of shit. Buddhism and the movies. And Went to Morocco all by yourself. He even showcases his impressed thoughts here when he's around the guys. Hey, what are you getting your new guma? She did me a favor. She went to Morocco over the holidays. On her own? She paid for it? Yeah. She went to Morocco? Well, who is she? Bada Bing Crosby? Well, she's not one of those girls. She's got a real job. She sells Mercedes. Smart. Gorgeous. Good to be true. However, before things got serious between the two, Dr. Melfi warned Tony about her, and he is even given a taste of her craziness in the waiting room. I'm telling you, something's fucked up here. Because one minute she's fine, next minute she's a fucking lunatic. I asked you whether or not she seemed like a happy person. Depressive personality, unstable, impossible to please. A serial killer. I murdered seven relationships. <laughs> this brings up the question, was Gloria Trillo crazy or just crazy for Tony? When Gloria returns from Morocco, Tony sees the true insane side of Gloria. She begins to get very angry when Tony's ex-girlfriend Irina calls the boat. This leads to Gloria throwing Tony's Christmas present into the water. No, what you said was that you didn't want to piss me off which implies that you'd have to deal with me, which was more about sparing you than my fucking feelings. Eventually, the two continue to argue and even about Gloria's friends and family members, and Tony continues to see why Dr. Melfi warned him about her. Does she seem happy to you? I spit it out. Whenever I bring her up, you get this weird push. And then you ask me, does she seem happy? Like, maybe she's not. Yeah, what do you think? Is she a full-blown whoop de or what? As learned from the encounter between the two in Dr. Melfi's office, we learn that Gloria has been in quite a few relationships, all of which resulting in her boyfriends leaving her after they see the true, bitter, angry, psychotic, and jealous side of Gloria. Gloria's true colors continue to show when Tony has the situation going on with Carmela and AJ that he's supposed to eat dinner with his family. Carmela's father breaks into the news where he has glaucoma. He's supposed to meet Gloria for dinner and has Christopher and Paulie stranded out in the woods looking for the Russian in the famous Pine Barrens episode. When Tony finally arrives to see Gloria, he is forced to leave due to the situation going on between Polly and Christopher. Gotta go. Gloria is clearly upset and later throws a London Borough steak right at Tony's face out I of rage. Leave your low life piece of 
this shit. You know what? Here, take your fucking dinner. The craziness continues from Gloria after she offers to give Carmela a ride home from the dealership while her wagon is being serviced. You know, that's okay, Jerry. I'll give her a lift. I'm going out anyway. This moment is so tense for a number of reasons. There's so many things running through the viewer's mind. Is Gloria trying to purposely kill Carmela? Not to mention how fast she's going. Will she run into Tony? It all just adds fuel to the fire that Gloria has really ultimately started. Later, she calls Tony's house and speaks to Carmela on purpose. Hello. Mrs. Soprano. Gloria Trillo, Globe Motors. Oh, hi, of course. How are you? I hope I'm not calling you at a bad time, but the new E320 just came in, and I thought you might want to take a look at it. Oh, no, I don't think so. Thank you, though. Uh, I still have another year on my lease. Well, run it by your husband. Maybe he'll want to treat you. Okay, maybe I will. Thank you for calling. Okay, bye. Hope to see ya. Bye-bye. Well, what a nice woman. Oh. You're just some saleswoman from Globe Motors. What? She wants me to test drive the new E-Series wagon. And I'm not interested, but uh, she was awfully nice to me the other day. She gave me a ride home while they serviced the wagon. But I really should hold on to it for another year, don't you think? Another year. Yeah. This is the tipping point of the iceberg for Tony as he decides to break it off between him and Gloria. You can tell you shrink your own date relationships. What do you mean? Fucking over. Upon dealing with the news of the breakup, Gloria goes into a full-blown panic and begs for Tony to come visit. Reluctantly, Tony does so and informs her that their relationship was wonderful, but it's time to put it to bed. It's over. It's here in this moment where Tony comes to the realization that Gloria reminds him of a woman he knows all too well, his mother, especially with some of the lines of dialogue that Gloria is saying. Nobody cares if I'm alive or dead. I didn't just meet you. I've known you my whole fucking life. That's right. My mother was just like you. Bottom was black hole. Oh, the mother now. Once Gloria has come to the realization that Tony is on his way out for good, her angry, violent, relationship-killing side flares up and she not only threatens to call Tony's wife, she also threatens to go to Columbia University to tell Meadow all about their affair if he insists on ending their relationship. Don't go, don't go! I'll call your wife! Tony becomes absolutely enraged by the possibility of her going near his family and promises to kill her if she goes anywhere near his family while strangling her. Now you listen to me. You go near my wife or my family and I'll fucking kill you. You understand me? I'll fucking kill you. It's here in this moment where we see just how crazy Gloria is and also how depressed she is and has become. When Tony is aggressively slamming her body on the ground, she begs for Tony to kill her. Gloria wants Tony to kill her. Tony hammers the notion and idea of Gloria to stay away from the Sopranos one last time by having Patsy threaten her. You call or go anywhere near him or his family and they'll be scraping your nipples off these fine leather seats. Later in season 4, Tony finds out that Gloria has sadly committed suicide by hanging herself. Ironically, Carmela is the one to deliver this news to Tony. Gloria Trillo, she gave me a ride home that day. You know what Jerry told me about her? She died. She what? She committed suicide, isn't that awful? Tony is clearly upset and at times can begin to cry when thinking about Gloria because he did display some love and emotion for her. When Tony pays Dr. Melfi a visit, he becomes extremely angry and demands to know why she didn't help Gloria. Why the fuck didn't you help her? After, there are a few dream sequences that feature Gloria, one of which being a attentive, caring woman who serves Tony a beautiful meal, which is kind of ironic because this is the complete opposite of what she actually was. Despite the many attempts to brush the toxic relationship away, the memory of Gloria will always haunt Tony Soprano. In a way, Gloria is a pure psychopath just like Tony. 
This is probably the reason why they're attracted to one another. In hindsight, she was crazy and also crazy for Tony. We know Tony is an absolute pure psychopath, but in this instance, he was crazy for Gloria. Maybe Gloria was the one true Gumar that he actually loved. Being with Gloria makes me happier than all of your Prozac and your therapy bullshit. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. For more Soprano theories, keep it locked here, right here on this channel.